Before you head to the ring for your debut match, there are 10 things you need to know, quite a few of which we never covered during the training process. Nevertheless, you need to know them. So before that all-important first match of yours rolls around, make sure you listen to what I have to say next. The first thing you need to know is this. Don't go to the ring cold. You need to put time aside, even if you are the opener, to do your stretching, to do some warm-ups, to get your body in gear to perform. If you walk to the ring cold and try to go from zero to 60 in a matter of seconds, it's going to be a shock to your system. So warm up before your music hits and you'll be ready. This second one often goes overlooked. You can ask the referee for time cues. You will not be expected to just instantaneously know how much of your allotted runtime you've burned through at any given moment. The referee is there to help you. And even if the referee doesn't have that information available to them in the moment, they can get that signal to them either from backstage or from the timekeeper at ringside. But if you need to know how deep into your runtime you already are, just ask the referee. This next one is really powerful, so listen carefully. Smooth wrestling reads as fast to the audience. That's how they see it. So while you are training, all your in-ring mechanics, like your moves, your transitions, and your spots for your upcoming debut match, don't train to run them as fast as you possibly can. Instead, train to run them as smoothly as you possibly can. Not only will that smoothness present as organic in the ring, it will read as fast to the audience. I do want you to know you will more than likely get blown up during your match. You're going to get gassed. You'll be exhausted. And that is because... There's very little that we can do in the training environment that accurately simulates what you go through on a live show. Rarely do we train with all those hot lights burning down on the ring. Rarely are we doing training matches in front of packed buildings loaded all the way to the gills with rowdy human beings. There's very little that can be done to simulate that live experience accurately while you are still training. And when you add all of these conditions together, along with the nerves that go with being in your debut match, you are more than likely to find that you're blown up. But hang in there, you can recover, take a couple deep breaths, you'll be good to go. I know, we don't usually talk about this in training, but you need to know. Everybody forgets something. No matter how many times you go over what you intend to do in the ring, Everybody forgets something. Now, I hope you don't forget something as crucial as the finish to your match. However, you're more than likely to get to the back and realize, oh, I forgot to do this character ritual of mine. I forgot to make eye contact with people while I was selling. You're bound to forget something. There is so much that makes up great pro wrestling performances that it's unlikely you're going to have mastered them all the very first time that you take the ring. So feel at peace with the idea that everybody forgets something because you probably will. If you need information like the insight and the experience that I'm sharing in this video to help you elevate your pro wrestling performances, then please subscribe to my channel right now. And thanks for doing that. Now this sixth one on my list, I bet you've heard before. You should practice everything you intend to put in front of the audience before the date of your debut. And while that's true, here's the problem with that. Many rookie wrestlers interpret that to mean just practicing their moves. And of course, you do need to practice that. You want them to look good for the cameras and the people, and you want to execute them as safely as you possibly can. But that's only a fraction of the job. So you also need to be practicing your entrance, how you climb in the ring, 
what you're going to be doing in the ring while your opponent is being announced, because guess what? You're on stage, people can still see you. You need to practice your selling, your facial expressions, your body language, your vocalizations. There's so much more to a pro wrestling performance than just the moves. And when you practice all of that, you will feel more prepared. It is a routine part of the job to let the person you are performing with know if their work is coming in too stiff or too light. We must have enough mutual respect for one another when we share the ring to be able to communicate when things are too stiff or things are too light. And yes, I think that even applies to day one rookies. Before every wrestler's debut match, I think they deserve to know that cotton mouth is real. Are you familiar with this phenomenon? I happen to suffer from it myself. It's this dried out feeling that you get in your mouth. And it happens when there isn't enough fluid in your body and your salivary glands attempt to conserve saliva by shutting down. This condition can be exacerbated when we feel nervous or anxious. And it can be a really uncomfortable and distracting thing to endure while you're trying to perform in the ring. So that's why for years, I've tucked a piece of gum into the back of my mouth while I am wrestling to stimulate my salivary glands. If you get lost, grab a hold. Don't take a powder out to the floor when you get lost. Don't throw a wild strike hoping that's going to refresh your memory. Grab a hold. That's the only way you're gonna be able to talk to your opponent and figure out what to do next. Before you walk the aisle for your very first match, you deserve to know that it is normal to be nervous. It's normal to be excited. It's normal to be intimidated. It's normal to feel whatever it is you are going to feel. So much work, time, effort, everything has gone into getting you to this moment. Of course you're going to be nervous. When I hear fellow veterans advising rookies to just relax and have fun out there, I think that's not possible, not right now. You know what's very possible? To feel nervous or excited or whatever, but to just relax and have fun during your debut match? Highly unlikely. Were there any essentials you think that I missed? Leave them for me down below in the comments right now. There's tons of additional material that I create every single week that's only available to my patrons a roll call of which is appearing on screen right now. And we can add your name to this list of all my amazing patrons when you join my Patreon. That orange square with a letter P in it will take you right there.